team i hope you're all well today we will be doing a haul it's been well it's not been a hot minute since i did one of these i did one last month i think um but it was probably around the beginning of the month so it's been like maybe a month and a half nearly two months since i did one of these but we're going to be doing a haul this will include some books that are coming in july as well so there won't be a haul coming up in august for july there might be one around the end of august if a bunch of more books come in um but this is looking obscene and a good portion of it is me uh but a good portion of it is also gifted as well so you know i do need to slow down and stop um i fully intend on doing that and i have gotten better like the portion that i'm adding into this that's coming in july two of them are parcels that i have made orders on that have now come in and it's pointless keeping them in the boxes i might as well take them out because i do want to get to them soon um so i might as well open those now and then it's just a handful of books like maybe three or four books that are coming in july so far uh so we're going to go through them today. We're going to start off with gifted books, I think, and then get to the books that I have bought myself because then I can open these other two parcels. So we are going to start with this rather large stack of books that have been gifted to me by publishers. Um, I still, every single day, find myself shooketh when a book comes in from a publisher. I can't believe that I get to work with publishers and they send me books. Um on the regular these days as well this didn't used to be an actual regular thing <laughs> um it would be on occasion but i i'm getting them through quite regularly now and it still blows my mind and i'm still forever grateful that publishers want to work with me and send me these books so thank you to every single one of them that do i truly appreciate it so del rey i can't remember if this other one came in in june or if it came in in May, but I'm going to tell you about it now anyway. Okay, so the first one I've got is The Nightmare Before Christmas by Sarah Rash. Uh, this one does come out in September, oh no, October, I believe. I'm not sure what date because it's not on this form. Uh, but it does say Halloween and Christmas collide in the sweetest, sexiest crossover rom-com of the year. Two royal princes, one fake competition, but will it be trick? or treat it sounds fantastic and i'm very very excited some of the buzzwords red white and royal blue meets the nightmare before christmas spicy opposites attract attract fake relationship uh forced proximity and i'm really really hyped and i cannot wait to get into this one it sounds fantastic then i do have the best hex ever by nadia l fassi which i'm really looking forward to as well also comes out in spooky season again not sure what the date is i'll put it on screen though if i can find it a cozy and spicy spellbinding fantasy romance about kitchen witch cursed to hurt anyone who falls for her talia hibbert meets the very secret society of irregular witches again sounds fantastic buzzwords for me talia hibbert set very secret society to regular witches i'm obsessed with this arc it's so pretty uh so yeah very excited for this one then we do have lucy undying by kirsten white i am really looking forward to this one it sounds really good it comes out on the 10th of september so there is still time yet in this epic and seductive gothic fantasy a vampire escapes the thrall of dracula and embarks on her own search for self-discovery and true love sounds really really good and i've seen a lot of people getting this one as well so um i think it's going to be a good one the text in here is so oh, stop to chapter 69 text in here is so small but i am really looking forward to reading this one because it sounds epic and then last but by no means least we have under the oak tree the comic uh this one sounds really good most fairy tales end with a wedding and a happily ever after but this one is not a fairy tale uh so i'm not fully sure what the synopsis is of this one but it is a comic uh, and again, not sure the date for this one, but I think it's in September. So thank you to Delray for sending me all four of these books. So stoked to get to them and to have early copies of them as well. Then from Pan Macmillan and Book Break, I do have a copy of The Restaurant of Lost Recipes by 
Hisashi Kashi Y, um, which is the second in the series. I I haven't read the first one, which is the Kamigawa Food Detectives, but I have ordered it. It will be coming today when I film this video. So, you know, just imagine that I've also held that up today. But I've ordered it myself so that I can give it a read. I'm actually hoping I can give it a read over the next couple of days so that I can get to this one. I don't know what the date, release date... Oh, 3rd of October. It's the, right there on the back. 3rd of October, 2024. Um, and this is a mouthwatering sleuthing series. And it sounds really good. It's translated. Looks really cute. Sounds really good. And I'm very excited about this one. So thank you to Pam McMillan for that one. And then from Yen Press and IZE Press, they've sent me this stack of manga and manhwa and also light novels. And I honestly can't believe it. I, I started working with Yen Press a couple of years ago now, I think. They sent me a stack of light novels, which is something that I still need to move into a little bit and move over into they sent me a stack of light novels um and then they started sending me manga and i was absolutely buzzing then they put me in contact with well then the iz press got in contact with me which is the same publishing house just different sections um and i started working with them they sent me a bunch of well, actually, they start, started off by sending me Shaco Volume 1, which I really, really enjoyed. And then they sent me a bunch of other stuff. And they started sending me acquisitions in which I could request some stuff. And they've uh, uh, some of the stuff that I've gotten from them has been so good. Uh, one of my favourite manhwa has been from them. And I'm so excited because they've now sent me the second volume. So let's go through what they sent me. They did send me a Demon's Crest. Um volume one reality erosion which is a light novel and i'm looking forward to giving this one a try it does have just a couple of illustrations in it as well which is really cool and it's about gaming uh vr and ar and online gaming so that sounds really interesting then we have babel uh, which is A Girl Embarks on Journey of Words, obviously a translation light novel again. Uh, swords, Sorcery and Dictionaries. Sounds really interesting. This is a chunky boy though, so that sounds really good. Then we do have A Sinner of the Deep Sea, which is a graphic, it's not a graphic novel, it's a manga um, and looks very interesting indeed it is obviously it's set in the ocean it's got some mermaids in it i assume i don't know the full ins and outs I haven't read this one yet but it looks really good and we also have apocalypse a bringer myo minogara i think that's how you pronounce that i'm not sure looks really interesting um again don't know the full ins and outs of this one but it is a manga so i've got that one and then these ones have definite those have come from yen press these ones have definitely come from iz press and they are continuations of manga that they've previously sent me and i read in the 30 uh, 24 manga in 24 hours video which i'll leave a link to up here if you want to check it out so i did get volumes two and three of dark moon the altar uh, sorry the blood altar really enjoyed this one and it's very very good indeed it's about a pop group um i believe based on a real pop group i don't know the full oh and hyphen which i believe is a real pop k-pop group i'm not sure um and it's based on them it's got magic in it though it's really really good and i really enjoyed the first volume so they've sent me volumes two and three so i can continue on with that which is fantastic news and then talk speaking of shako again they sent me volumes two and three of shako so i can continue on with this series which again i really really enjoyed this one is seven fates with bts um so really enjoyed this one it's got some it's got beasts in it and magic and it's 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 great i had a good time and then unholy blood volume two uh, i reckon they probably would have sent me volume three as well if it was released by now but it isn't it's not coming out for another couple months i think so this one is a vampire story and the first volume of this has been my favorite manga volume all year so very excited to continue on with this one and then more recently they did send me these three which have not yet been released they come out on the 23rd of july so they sent me your letter which i have read 
um very very recently i have read this one and it was really really good and absolutely loved it and they've sent me aria of the beach forest volume one which so far i'm part way through and i'm really enjoying can't wait to get back to and they also sent me go 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 ghost volume one uh which again i am part way through and i'm having a good time with so i'm looking forward to continuing on with both of these so thank you massive thank you to yen press and iz press for sending me those i truly appreciate it okay next we do have a bunch of gifted books from you guys from my lovely patrons and from you guys i did hit 9k in june i think it was um and so i've ended up with a bunch of gifts mostly from my patrons i think but potentially from you guys as well so we do have jurassic park by michael Crichton. i Crichton, i think i said Crichton, and i think it's Crichton. um from tracy for hitting Nike. Thank you so much, Tracy, for this one. I've been wanting to read this for a really long time now, and I know that Gavin's enjoyed it, and also Meg from Meg with Books has really enjoyed it uh, more recently, and I really want to give it a read. I love Jurassic Park, the movies, and Jurassic World as well. I've always loved Jurassic Park from being a kid, so I've always wanted to read this one. I just didn't know if it would live up to the movies for me, but after hearing positive fantastic reviews from both gav and meg i really want to give this one a read so thank you so much to tracy for sending me this one from amanda i did get the housemaid is watching by freedom mcfadden which is the third book in this series i've really enjoyed the first one i do need to get to the second one um but i really did like the first one and i'm looking forward to giving this one a read this one was just because you don't have enough books <laughs> thanks amanda for sending me this one this is a thriller about a housemaid um and starting in a new house and it all goes a, a little bit haywire and i really really did enjoy the first one so i'm looking forward to continuing on with this one and getting more into freedom mcfadden's books as well i do want to try more from her then we do have i fed her to the beast by jameson shay i there was a mystery surrounding this it came through i checked with my patrons there's no no with it i checked with my patrons it wasn't from my patrons and then somebody has let me know on a video i'm fairly certain or they've messaged me i can't remember I'm so terrible with shit like this and i do apologize to let me know that it was them to check that it came um and let me know it was them it didn't come with a note and i'm frustrated about it so if it was you can you just let me know again so i can make a note of it inside the book so that i remember that it is a gifted and who it's from b for who it's from uh, my apologies for being a shit house and not remembering that uh but this is a horror and i'm very excited about it i've heard good things about jameson shay's work so i'm looking forward to getting into uh, this and giving it a try. I know there's a couple of other books from James Jameson Shea, so if I enjoy their writing, I will give another book a go. But thank you so much to whoever gifted me this one. Then from Claire, I've no doubt you'll see some more books from Claire in a minute. I did not put these in order who, of who gave them to me. <laughs> They're just stacked in a gifted order. But from Claire, I did get A Dangerous Collaboration and also An Unexpected Peril by Deanna Rayborn, which are part of the Veronica Speedwell series. Um, the thing with these books is that they're not consistent. <laughs> this has got like a really matte cover that will not bend. Um, very well, it does bend, but not very well. Not as well as this does on its own. My apologies for the lighting. It's about half past six in the morning. Just FYI. Um, but thank you to Claire for gifting me both of these. She cannot be stopped. There is no point in me continuing to try to do so. But I appreciate you nonetheless, Claire. I read the first one, A Curious Beginning, for Katie Colson's Taste Test. Again, if you want to see it, I'll link it up here. And I absolutely fucking loved it. So I'm very excited to continue on with this series. So thank you, Claire, for fueling that. I truly appreciate you. Okay, I found the others from Claire. She also sent me Ragnar Crimson volume one and attack on titan volumes 13 to 15 omnibus uh, i don't freaking know what number omnibus this is but whatever number omnibus this is four five she's fueling my attack on titan <laughs> um she sent me both of these which are both manga jade's been raving about this one so i really do need to get to it very soon she loves it apparently it's about dragon hunters but the dragons deserve to be killed because they're all assholes attack on titan um i ended up picking this one up or was it on the recommendation of gavin or during the 
24 manga in 24 hours I think it was 24 manga in 24 hours because I think I ended up reading several volumes of it and then binging more on Kindle Unlimited until this started to be fueled by other people for the most part Claire so thank you Claire for those <laughs> then I did get a few from Tr a few more from Tracy she sent me a blue flag volume six which I'm very excited about continuing on with now that I do have a few more volumes I think I will end up binging these because I would like to continue on with this series I really enjoyed the first one so I'd like to continue on she also sent me a button pusher by Tyler Page which is one that she recommended me because it is a graphic novel uh, middle grade I think graphic novel but it's got ADHD representation in it so um, she did recommend this one to me on that basis and I added it to my wish list and then she also sent me Amulet as well which is a graphic novel that I actually saw Brandon Sanderson talking about on TikTok <laughs> it was so fucking random i just came across him on tiktok and he was going on about the amulet graphic novel series that he reads with his kids and they really enjoy it and love it so i was like well sod it let's have a butchers and see what this is about so i ended up adding it to my wish list i don't know if it's like a horror or uh, like a thriller -ish, ish ish one i'm not sure but it's a middle grade graphic novel and i'm really excited about reading it so thank you to tracy for fueling those manga and graphic novel station <laughs> i don't know where that was going with that uh shout out to amanda for sending me this one it watches in the dark by jeff strand i did read this for summer ween and i enjoyed it it was very very good indeed so thank you for to amanda for sending me this one again congrats on 9k in the note and i have read it so success for that i gave it I think it was three and a half four stars um it was a good time it is middle grade horror if you were interested in that and then last but by no means least for gifted books i do have the gathering by cj tudor and this one was gifted to me by gecko um again for hitting at 9k so thank you gecko for sending sending me this one i believe this is a horror vampire horror story i don't know but i've heard relatively good things thriller sounds interesting i don't think i've read a cj tudor before so this would be my first one but i have heard cracking things about cj tudor's work and i am interested in picking up books from her so i feel like this will be a really good one to start with so thank you gecko for this one um shout out to anybody that ever gives me anything nobody ever has to so thank you so much to anybody that ever does i truly appreciate you okay so now we get into the bullshit that i've been pulling <laughs> It's just a lot of bullshit, let me tell you. Um, right, I have a couple of normal hardbacks here and then a whole bunch of special edition hardbacks that I'm going to go through with you. Uh, so these are the normal hardbacks that I've gotten over the course of the last month and a half slash two months or so. This one is Your Blood, My Bones by Kelly Andrews. When I hit 9k, my patrons encouraged me to go book shopping, buy myself nine books. And this was part of it. <laughs> um, I haven't read anything from Kelly Andrews before, but suddenly remembered that The Whispering Dark is downstairs on my shelves by this author. And you don't have to have read The Whispering Dark to pick this one up, but apparently there's a character crossover, which sounds fantastic and right up my alley. So I'm really intrigued by this one. It is a fantasy romance, I think. Uh, your next rivals to lovers romantic obsession from the acclaimed author of TikTok sensation The Whispering Dark. Sign me up. Sounds really interesting. Love this cover. I'm obsessed. Then we have The Haunting of Velkwood by Gwendolyn Kist, which I did read for Summerween. Dick. I really enjoyed this one. It was very, very good and I had a fantastic time with it and I would recommend. I think I gave it four stars. It was really, really good. A horror that was short, fast, really, really good. <sighs> then we do have Horror Movie by Paul Tremblay. So pretty. So pretty. DNF date 54 pages in. I'm so fucking mad about it. If you want to see me do that. And rant uh, the fuck about it as well. Um, Summerween vlog 2. <laughs> leave it up here. Oh, I'm really mad. It's going straight in my unhaul pile. And I'm really mad about it. But I've hauled it. So I've got to mention it. <laughs> 
pop that straight over there. Uh, Middle of the Night by Riley Sega. I have read this one. I did get an arc of it, an E arc of it though. I wonder where that had gone. An E, -R -E arc of it, that is. Um, and I liked this one. I gave it four stars. It was good. Would recommend. Then we do have Your Lonely Nights Are Over by Adam Sass. I believe this is queer. Um, and I did pick it up in June to want to read in June as well for like a queer horror book. But I didn't end up getting a chance to get to it, unfortunately. But now it's on my shelf. So I think it's like YA queer horror. So very much so looking forward to this one. The cover for this as well. Stunning. Looking forward to that one. Then special edition books. So we have When the Moon Hatched by Sarah A. Parker from Waterstones absolutely stunning obsessed she is the moment um I, i'm obsessed with this it's so beautiful i didn't end up getting a second one i ummed and out about the fairy loot one and then i was like i've got to stop doing this by multiple editions of books just because um i think i might like it because then what happens is you end up with four copies of fourth wing and you still not finished iron flame yet so I haven't done it. Am I sad that I cancelled my Lot Library subscription before I got the Lot Library one of this though? A little bit, yeah, because it's really pretty. But this is stunning. Very excited about reading this one, which will be very soon, either towards the end of July or in August, because it is my Patreon buddy read for July and August. So very stoked to be picking this one up. Then we do have ASAP by Axio. This is the Fairy Loot edition of this. I ended up finding secondhand the um, XOXO, which is the first one. Not in this series. I don't know if they are part of the same world or something. I'm not sure how they tie in together, but I wanted to make sure I had the matching one. But this is the Fairy Loot edition with the sprayed edges. Absolutely stunning. Um, it is signed by Axio as well. And then underneath the dust jacket, just so beautiful on the naked hardcover. Um, so yeah, I ummed and ad with this for a really long time. I kept going back on Fairy Loot's website, having a quick butchers. And I was like, you know what? I've heard such good things. I know like Jodie loves XOXO and I'm fairly certain. Can't remember if she's read ASAP yet or not. But um, she loves them so much. And I, I do seem to be getting back into my YA a little bit. I do find that I quite like to go back on, a, on occasion for a palette cleanser. Just something very easy and quick to get through um that's cute and you know romantic so we'll see how this goes but this is stunning and i'm not mad about having it on my shelves <laughs> then off of vintage i've been doing a lot of vintage shopping recently which is where i got xoxo by axio uh, i did get waterstones edition of a tempest of tea by hafsa Faisal. i um and out about this book for the longest fucking time when it came out and I was like do I get it do I not do I get it do I not I cancelled my fairy loot YA box before the year I think began and I so I missed out on the fairy loot YA one which honestly I'm not too mad about because I actually think that this is prettier and I ended up getting the Waterstones one for a reasonable price off of Vinted and I'm not mad about it and I really want to read this very 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 soon it just hasn't tied in yet with anything that I've wanted to that I've been doing so it is signed by Hafsa Faisal and I've heard fantastic things I believe it's like a vampire romance with a heist and I'm really looking forward to it. Dark, action-packed and swoon-worthy, A Tempest of Tea is teeming with romance and revenge led by an orphan girl willing to do whatever it takes to save her self-made kingdom. It sounds fantastic and I've heard really good things, so I can't wait to pick this up. Then, oh my God, I'm so fucking excited. <laughs> I'm, I can't tell you how excited I am about having this book. I can tell you how I'm, I'm a little bit pissed about how much I've paid for it, but... I'm just so fucking excited that I've got it because had I waited any longer, I would have been paying through the nose for this book way more than I already have. But The Martian by Andy Weir is one of my favourite books of all time. It is definitely one of my favourite movies of all time. I saw the movie first, I went back and read the book, fucking loved it. Um, I have DNF'd Artemis by Andy Weir and then I really liked the other one that he's done which is it going to be mentioned in here 
Yeah, I can't remember what the... Oh, Project Hail Mary. I liked Project Hail Mary as well, but this will forever be my favourite Andy Weir book. And I, I saw... I saw Broken Binding doing this, but I knew it was, like, subscription only. And I know eventually it might end up being released to the public, but I didn't know how much it was going to be. I didn't know how long it was going to be. I didn't want to run the risk of missing out on it. And this was on Vinted for a very reasonable price. Well semi-reasonable price let's go with that shall we i am obsessed with this is stunning this is now my most of all the books on my tbi you may be shocked at this this is my most prized possession i'm not joking so i don't mind that i've paid through the nose for it a little bit because it is my most prized possessed book and I'm, I'm i'm just not mad about it honestly i'm really not it's stunning i'm obsessed it's one of my favorite books of all time it does this honestly so fucking hyped i do not regret this purchase in the slightest and i don't think i ever 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 will this is a book that will probably go to the grave with me i'm not gonna lie i'm obsessed i'm so excited then we do have an Illumicrate book. I don't know which Illumicrate book this is, what, what box it's from. <laughs> no idea. Uh, but it's The Goddess of River by Vashnavi Patel. My apologies. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be interested in this one. It is from the same author of Kai Kei. Kai... Kai Kei? Sorry. Um, I don't know if this is going to be up my street or not. A powerful reimagining of the story of Ganga, goddess of the river, and her doomed mortal son. Um, it does sound interesting. This is absolutely stunning, though, from the Lumacray. Absolutely gorgeous. Very, very pretty indeed. Underneath the dust jacket. I'm trying to make sure that the lighting doesn't affect these books too much. And you can definitely see them proper. Um, but my apologies, as I've said, it's, it's, it's very early in the morning. <laughs> trying to get on top of my work. Uh, so yeah, I did get that one from Illumicrate. Then from the Fairly, I think, adult box, we have The God and the Gummy Hole by Sophie Kim. I'm really looking forward to this one. It sounds absolutely incredible and it sounds really up my street. So I'm very excited about this one. But it is, again, very, very stunning. Uh, really beautiful book. These end papers, I am obsessed. I'm so excited. Underneath the dust jacket, stunning. I'm so excited to read this one. It sounds great um, and it sounds very much so up my street. I think it's got like a, it, obviously it's got a gummy, go, gummy hoe in it and um, she's working in a cafe. It just sounds really, really wholesome but very exciting on the fantasy side of things and I'm really, really excited about it. So <laughs> stop it. <laughs> He's a fallen god. She's a shape-shifting fox. They'll do anything to outsmart each other, anything except fall in love. Sign me up. Stop it. Right. <laughs> then from fairy loot i did get ruthless vows by rebecca ross to complete my set um i do still need to read this one and i am hoping to get to this uh for final book support group next week stunning 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 very very pretty indeed i know that this series is a series that well a set of books that some people would sell their soul for mine's the martian by andy weir from broken and binding if you didn't get that before stunning <laughs> Um, and then a couple more from Feralu for the Romanticy box. We do have The Nectar of the Wicked by Ella Fields. I do have another Ella Fields book on my shelves, Kingdom of the Villains, right here. I don't know if you can see that. And I haven't read it yet, but I am looking forward to this one. I've heard really good things and it's beautiful, very, very beautiful. I feel like these spread edges, though, we've seen before on another book from Feralu. This, I was very excited by this this was covered up i was so excited by this when i unboxed this and then i did this and i did not care for these humans anymore adorable adorable so pretty um i believe that this is a bit of a retelling not sure what of but i believe it's a bit of a retelling sign me up very excited to give that one a read and also the ren and uh, sorry the ren in the holly library by k a 
Lind. Uh, this has very recently just come in. Um, I haven't even unboxed this in a video or anything, but it's absolutely stunning. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. If you didn't know, Beauty and the Beast retellings are my favourite retellings. So I'm really, really excited for this one. And I haven't, I can't, I feel like I haven't read a really good Beauty and the Beast retelling for a long time. So, or for a while at least anyway. So I'm really, really excited by this. So beautiful stunning i'm so excited apparently there was meant to be artwork under the dust jacket and uh, it was missed at the publishers and then missed again before it was sent out to us so we're supposed to be getting it on a card or something in the next box but um this beautiful i'm so excited about giving this a read i think that i kind of want to get to this very very soon as in over the next couple of days because i'm really really excited about giving it a read oh my goodness the text is small uh but i'm really excited about giving it a read i just feel really in the mood for a really good beauty and the beast retelling so those are all my special edition books scooch well my hardbacks anyway and special edition and now for the rest of my bullshit so we do have a perilous undertaking and also A Murderous Relation by Deanna Rayborn. Part of the Veronica Speedwell series. Don't ask me what number books these are because I don't know the answer to that question. I could probably tell you. I'm fairly certain that this is the last one in the series so far. Like book number nine or something. No, I couldn't tell you because it doesn't say. <laughs> A Treacherous Curse was number two. Oh, this must be book three then. Um, I don't know what number this book is. But... Uh, continuing on with Deanna Rayborn and the Veronica Speedwell series because I'm very excited. Then I did get these three from Brooke Montgomery which are all part of the same series. I did get the third book in this series which is Fall With Me by Brooke Montgomery um, in an, as an e-arc before it came out. You don't have to have read the other two but what I will say is that we're following the same family. Think along the lines of the... Uh, chestnut spring series or even the eden series you're following the siblings from the same family in romance novels obviously um and they're all cowboy romances and i'm really looking forward to going back and reading the other two because one of the the characters they obviously cross over but by reading this i'm missing noah's relationship from here the younger sister and i'm missing somebody else's relationship from here that is already established in this book do you know what i mean like i'm not risking vital information you can read them out of order but for me i like to read these things in order so i've got backstory for each of the relationships so that when i see these other characters within the book like i'm already in love with noah and i haven't read her book yet <laughs> you know what i mean so four with me is book three we have here with me which is noah's story which is book one and we also have stay with me there is a novella as well apparently in this series so i do want to get that one as well they are on kindle unlimited did i need these no do i love the covers yes that's why i've bought them also i wanted to support the author we have a novel lost love love story we have a novel love story by ashley poston i have loved ashley poston's books so far of like this caliber the dead romantics and the seven year slip i am obsessed with so i have got a novel love story which is the latest one from her and i'm really looking forward to it i believe that our main character ends up finding herself in her favorite novel falling in love or something I don't know in the setting of her favorite novel i'm not sure the full ins and outs sounds fantastic um then we have not in love by ali hazelwood which is the latest one from ali i recently read checker May and it reminded me so much of why i love ali hazelwood's writing it's just so simple in the best way possible perfect palette cleanser books and i just love reading them so very excited to read this one no idea what it's about very excited to read it <laughs> i will honestly read anything she puts out at this point i just love them then we have uh, the locked tombs series uh the first three books in this series which was only supposed to be a trilogy with not this book but with another one called Electo the Ninth. And then this came out and we're still waiting on Electo. Uh, so I have read Gideon the Ninth, which I gave four and a half stars to. Um, still debating up in that to five stars. I fucking loved it so much. It was so, so good. 
Do I have any idea what's going on? No. Am I vibing? Yes. I fucking love it. It's great. Then I went on to, I went, well, I read this and the following week I went out to the store to see that if I could pick up at least Harrow and ended up picking up Nona this as well and then read Harrow and had the shit out of it. This is so satisfying. Loved it. Anticipated that this was going to make way more sense than this did. Did not. Four stars. Um, fantastic fucking love this series have not yet got to nona and i don't want to leave it too long but apparently electo isn't coming out till next year in january and even then that could change because it has done a few times i believe so i'm not sure what to do however i do think that this is a great series that to reread upon reflection <laughs> I feel like maybe you might pick up on a few more things upon reflection when we read in this series so I'm tempted to try and get to this soon anyway and then when Electo comes out reread the whole thing um we'll see what happens but yeah obsessed I'm so excited to have these on my shelves honestly um they're so pretty books they're so pretty books they're such pretty books try let's try that one on for size I think this was also part of the nine books for 9k as well um so you know when i did that shopping thing and i bought nine books that my patrons encouraged me to do because these two were also on that list so we have the delegate dream department store by uh miley which is a captivating story that will leave a lingering magical feeling in readers minds this is the first book in a duology um for anyone exhausted from the reality of their daily lives it sounds adorable and i'm obsessed with this cover it's so pretty and then i also got a magical girl retires by park seolian 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 my apologies um i just saw this in the store and i was like it sounds really cool and it's got like these pages in it a millennial turned magical girl must combat climate change and credit card debt in this whimsical and wildly imaginative ode to magical girl manga i haven't read the manga but it just sounds really fun so i'm excited about both of these then i do have reckless by lauren roberts this is the waterstones edition with the sprayed edge to match my waterstones editions of powerful and powerless very excited to continue on with this series i've only read powerless so far and i think what i'm actually going to do is wait until fearless comes out and then i can binge the whole series i'll reread powerless and then binge the whole series i think that's what i'm going to end up doing so because i do get confused with light lark and sky shade is coming out very soon so i'm going to continue with this series first because sky shade comes out before fearless comes out i'm fairly certain that is then a wrap on that series but i'm not 100 percent certain because i know alex astor's coming out with something else as well uh that she's now promoting which is a contemporary i think so yeah i did get this one very excited to read it love story by lindsay kelk i just buy anything she puts out at this point i'm very excited about the fact that she's coming out with a fantasy um that isn't middle grade for the first time this year so i'm really excited about that one it's called the bells witches and i'm really looking forward to it but this one is called love story i think it's been heavily inspired by taylor swift so i'm truly looking forward to it she's a small town school teacher he's a hotshot creative director together it's hate at first sight <laughs> yes <laughs> then i do have i feel like i've shown this one maybe not collide by bal cabara uh this one is the works edition with the stunning sprayed edges and i'm very excited and i believe it's a hockey romance i know nothing else about it other than that but i'm very excited about it, it sounds great i've heard good things then we have this summer will be different by carly fortune again this was part of the nine books for 9k video um and i've not read anything by carly fortune before but i do have meet me at the lake and i don't know whether or not i'm going to enjoy these but i'm obsessed with this cover and it looks really pretty so yeah i believe this is second chance romance as well which i don't read very often so that will be interesting leather and lark by Bryn weaver which is the second in this series i loved loved butcher and blackbird so i'm very excited about reading this one and cannot wait to pick this one up then we do have the only light left burning by eric j brown which again i think was part of the nine books for 9k uh, i read the first one in this series for in june 
part of Pride Month, um, and I'm I fucking loved it. It was fantastic. It's a dystopia, queer dystopia, following Andrew and Jameson, and it was really, really good. So then this one came out literally the week that I was reading the first one. I love when that happens. So I ended up picking it up. All that's left in the world was the first one. This one I'm very excited about reading, and I don't know if it's the last in the series or not. I need to do some research, and if it is, I might try and get to it for Final Book Support Group next week. We'll see. Then I did end up picking Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. Thomas picked this one for me. <laughs> I was picking up um, Not So In Love, not the Ali Hazelwood one. And then I was torn between this and a different one. And he picked this one for me because he said it looks scary. He's not wrong. Uh, I believe this is a thriller. And I would like to read some more Lisa Jewell as well. So far, I've only read um, None of This Is True by Lisa Jewell, which was her latest one. So I want to go back and read some of her backstory. I also have Breaking the Dawn on my shelves as well, which is a new release from her coming up soon so um actually it's out now it's a marvel and lisa jewel come together with a jessica jones mystery so yeah i picked up this one thomas picked it shout out to him <laughs> also part of the nine books 9k i've had my throat my throat on this fucking hell i've had my eye on this for a really long time my throat and open grave by tori bavolino i believe this is a deliciously creepy haunting explanation exploration sorry of love hate and what it means to forgive yourself sounds interesting i'm very much so looking forward to it it's not too long either so yay then we do have suddenly a murder by lauren munzo again i think was this part of that nine books in 9k i can't remember i saw this in waterstones was interested vaguely interested in it and then i went into the works and saw it in there for three quid and i was like sod it i'll pick it up um i think this is like a little bit like the inheritance games maybe a little bit so i'm intrigued by this it sounds interesting and i'm looking forward to it then i did get blood on the tracks volume four which i've read i also got blood on the tracks volumes eight and nine as well um these ones came from waterstones they were cheaper over there than they were anywhere else so that's why i got them from there and they would come pretty quickly however this is significant because i now also have two parcels here from books please now if you haven't heard of books please before this is a website that i've been using for a little while now they are the sister website of sci-fi if you have heard of them and they do cheap books already you can buy any amount of books and the delivery will be 1.99 so if you buy one book delivery will be 1.99 if you buy 20 books delivery will be 1.99 um and they come sealed very very well so they come in this bag and then inside the bag nine times out of ten they come then packaged like this to secure them i needed to use the bag for something else <laughs> so i've taken these ones out of the bag but i did two separate orders um by accident kind of but i also have a discount code for you so if you would like some cheap ish books and you don't need them immediately um and you're looking for an alternative to the likes of amazon or whatever uh books please is a really good option they ship internationally and i have an affiliate code for you so i do get a little bit of commission uh, just to be completely transparent but i have a code for you it will get you five percent off and the code is steph loves five and i do recommend using them <laughs> because i have multiple times so let's get into exactly what's in here i don't know which parcel is which so i don't know which is relevant to this but we'll find out aha uh -huh. that was such a good guess okay so you end up with they've got some new ones as well a whole bunch of bookmarks they throw a bunch of these in for you um and they've got some new ones recently which i'm very excited about don't ask me why i don't need any more bookmarks i own a bookmark store <laughs> this one is cute though um so yeah you end up with a whole bunch of bookmarks and then I did purchase, because if you've seen my Summerween vlog, this will make a whole bunch of sense. But I did get volume 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12 <laughs> over on Books Please of Blood on the Tracks because I'm really enjoying it so far. So um, 8 and 9 will slot in nicely in there somewhere. And 
yeah i ended up purchasing these because i'm loving this series so far there are currently 17 volumes out so i do still have another five to go to purchase to have the whole collection but i didn't want to get too giddy i could have got them all but i didn't want to get too giddy and um i did manage to get these so i'm very excited about continuing on with this series so volume five six seven ten eleven twelve and I have eight and nine here. So I do, I can now binge up to volume 12 with all of these. So yay for that. And then in this one, again, very well packaged, bubble wrapped as well, and a whole bunch more bubble wax. Um, this one was also inspired by a Summerween book, uh, and it was, it was Scritch Scratch by Lindsay Curry. I ended up going online to see the, uh, that's not the right book they sent me the catcher in the rye i wanted cat game of volume five that's not the right book i'm gonna have to look into that catcher in the rye i would never anyway um scritch scratch by lindsay curry i ended up going on a little bit of a Lindsay Curry binge so I did get What Lives in the Woods by Lindsay Curry I also got The Girl in White by Lindsay Curry and also The Peculiar Incident on Shady Street uh, which are all middle grade horror and I'm really looking forward to giving a read so very excited that I could get these on there because I sh would have struggled to get these anywhere else um so yeah very excited for these i know there is another lindsay curry coming out very soon and i could have got the hardback i wanted these to match on my shelves apparently that's not going to be the case this is a matte cover this is a matte cover with a bit of shine this is very shiny and short so <laughs> is fine um but yeah i didn't want the hard cover of the new one so i'm going to wait till it comes out on paperback it's a different publisher that's why uh don't know what happened with this it was supposed to be cat game of volume five i'm a little bit sad about that but it is what it is i will have to contact them and see if they can sort that out but yeah so that's my little haul then as well from actually not that that is my little haul as well from books please so if you wanted to get some books from books please um it does help me out a little bit uh because i do get some commission from using my discount code um if you don't want to that's absolutely fine but i just thought i would mention it you can get five percent off on top of the already significantly discounted books anyway over there they're all you know new books they're all brand new books um and you can get an extra 5% off using my code. So feel free to use, do so if you would like to. I will leave a link to books, please, in the description box down below with my code, StephLoves5. Uh, so feel free to use that if you would like to do so. But yeah, that is my significantly stupid haul. I've no idea how many books this was. Uh, it was a lot, though. I've put half of them away on my shelves already when... <laughs> There was a gap for me to do so so that i wasn't overwhelmed by how many i had to put away by the end of this video tidy as you go that's what i have to do <laughs> uh but yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video chat to me in the comments down below who you've read any of these recently what was the last book you purchased can i be stopped i need to be but can i be that is the question you'll find out in the next episode of haul <laughs> Uh, right i hope you've enjoyed this video speak to me in the comments down below and i will see you in whatever comes next uh, bye for now mm -hmm.